This is the wireframe I'm starting with. This measures 16 by 16. I wanted my frame to have a little bit of cushion, so I just cut uh, three strips of this batting. Now, I've had this for several years in my craft room, but I just cut um, several strips of this, and I'm gonna wrap it around the frame just to give it a little more cushion. I'm going to wrap the frame with this burlap. I've had this for a while. I'm thinking I got it from Walmart, but it may have been Michael's. But anyway, I'm not going to use the whole roll. I'm just going to wrap it around, uh, you know, just around the frame uh, until I like the look. I started here in the corner and it kind of, uh, you know, Caddy cornered it and then I wrapped it as an angle. I will continue to wrap it around, but I just kind of want, want to kind of show you how I wrapped it. I wrapped it loosely and the batting kind of gives it a little bit more uh, fullness for the wreath. And so then I'll just continue to wrap this burlap loosely um, around this frame. And this is how much I have left just by loosely wrapping this around this 16 inch, 16 by 16 inch square frame. And this roll originally um, is five inches by 10 yards. And so you can see that I have quite a bit left. So just kind of sharing that with uh, you for, you know, because I know that I'll get asked, how much did you use? What did you use? I think I got this at Walmart or Michael's. I have this uh, large window pane burlap that I've had these rolls for a couple of years. I got them from Walmart. Uh, they are five by five by 10 feet. And so what I'm gonna do now is um, attach this. I'll probably use a pipe cleaner to uh, thread it through the burlap in the back to kind of attach it. Then I'll loosely wrap it around uh, the frame, you know, just to give it that nautical look. And I ended up using the entire 10 foot uh, roll of this window pane burlap and it covers, you know, I just loosely looped it around this 16 by 16 wireframe. So I found a couple of these beach signs um, at the Goodwill, I think, and they're really good condition and thought that it would be cute beach uh, themed wreaths. So what I did is I put my uh, one inch cable ties on there. I just put them in the corner and then I just attach my pipe cleaners like I usually do. And then what I'll do is I will thread it through uh, the burlap and the batting and all of that. And what I'll get to help me with are some of these metal uh, bigger needles that I got from Hobby Lobby in the uh, you know, like sewing section so that it can kind of go through the burlap and the batting and just kind of pull that through and then I'll attach it together. And, um, you know, so it, that's how I'm gonna attach my sign. All right, I have my sign on there using the one inch cable ties and the pipe cleaners. And then what I'll do is I will just stick some Excelsior uh, around here. I kind of put it like uh, not directly in the middle, kind of closer to the bottom. I'm gonna decorate this. And then also up here, I'm going to be putting some florals and then that's where I'm gonna have my bow. This is the greenery bush that I'm going to use on this wreath. Uh, I got this at Walmart. And so what I'm going to do is cut them apart and then uh, separate them evenly on both sides because I'm going to make a swag with a bow in the middle. So I have put my swag on the top. This is the top of my uh, wreath and I just used some wire. Well, first, um, when I cut it apart, I just put it together. Just This is just floral tape. And then to secure it, I used uh, that metal needle and, you know, brought it from the back to the top. And then I just have these little wires um, that I'm going to snip off, but I wanted to keep them long enough so that I could show you, uh, you know, I just twist that on there so that it's more secure. For my bow, 
These are the ribbons that I'm going to make uh, the bow with. These three came from Hobby Lobby. Uh, these two came from Craft Outlet. I'm not quite sure where I got this burlap, but you know, you can get burlap anywhere. I'm going to make um, my bow on my Easy Bow Maker. Now, um, I do have uh, a tutorial of how I use this in my Wreath Basics uh, playlist if you want to see that. Um, also, if you're interested in helping, uh, you know, yourself make bows. This is my favorite way to make bows. Uh, look for my affiliate link in my link tree because I am an affiliate with Deco Exchange because that is where I got my Easy Bow Maker. All right, here's my finished bow. I love the way that that turned out. I decided not to use this uh, ribbon because I had this in there. And I think that all just kind of coordinates together uh, nicely. And it will for my coastal beach at the sea wreath. All right, I have my bow on there. And um, what I did is I, you know, put it through the same way that I did the... Uh, pipe cleaners for the sign and getting one of those metal hooks um, really helps me just really try to get through the burlap and you know the batting and all of that stuff anyway just passing that tip along maybe you have tips that you could uh, share that may help others as well uh, anyway so then now I'm going to start decorating and embellishing my wreath I added my fine excelsior I get this one uh, from Joann's and it just kind of added there on the sides as well as down here that's just going to kind of be my first layer I'll add a little bit more excelsior as I go along but now I'm going to add in uh, some of my uh, baby's breath this is my baby's breath greenery that I get from Hobby Lobby it's a uh, kind of you know, mute it just a little bit. It's not, it's a little whimsical. And uh, what I did is I used my steel picks machine. I do have a video tutorial of how I use this in my Wreath Basics tutorial, or you can search uh, YouTube for another tutorial. Um, anyway, but it just puts the steel pick on the end of, of, mich of um, the floral pick and it's not necessary it's just something that i invested in many years ago anyway and so then i will glue them into uh you know the burlap into the wreath just so that everything is nice and secure For embellishments, I found these uh, starfish at Walmart, and uh, these seashells are from the Dollar Tree. Uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut some of these pads and glue it to the back uh, with some E6000 and some Gorilla Hot Glue, and then that is what I'm going to secure on to my wreath. And I used my four ply uh, jute just to tie on uh, some jute onto the top just to make the hanger. I attached the starfish and some seashells around the wreath uh, with my E6000 and the Gorilla Hot Glue uh, for a permanent hold. And uh, I just used some of my Excelsior just to fill in a little bit, you know, just to have a more whimsical look to this wreath. These are extra florals I'm going to stick in there. Uh, this Tweedia is from Dollar Tree and this wheat grass pick is from Walmart. <laughs> <laughs> 